The Storyland Theater. Storyland Theater takes us to a clock store in Switzerland to hear the tick tock tale. Switzerland is a beautiful country with bright green valleys spangled with colorful flowers nestling against snow-capped peaks that tower high into the sky. Here in the village clock store, the old watchmaker was busy at work. He was repairing a battered little watch that was brought into his shop early that evening. Up on the shelf, the wooden cuckoo hopped out on its platform, cocked its little head, and started to sing the hour. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so it's ten o'clock. I think I'll close the shop and go home. I'll put on my hat and coat and take my cane and my keys. Oh, goodness me. I almost forgot to wind the grandfather clock. That's my old favorite. There. Well, good night, my dear TikTok friends. fellow clocks and watches. Now we'll start our tick-tock tail meeting. Oh, oh, Grandfather Clock, am I included in this clock store meeting? Oh, oh, you're the battered little American wristwatch that was brought in for repair early this evening. Yes, sir. And I'm a little lonesome among all these strange tick-tocks. Well, let's see. We'll ask our members... Oh, oh, we don't want any part of it. Absolutely not. I don't see why we should. Oh, oh, why, that battered watch with the dizzy face is out of place. Oh, Nobody likes me. Nobody wants me. Now, now, now. Let's have a little order in the clock room. I insist that little funny watch isn't fit to tick along with us. Al, alarm clock, wake yourself up and come to your senses. Al's right, Grandfather. Cuckoo, sure. Stop that battered little watch. I'm surprised at you, Miss Cuckoo Clock. And especially you, Miss Diamond Watch. I don't care what anyone thinks. Grandfather, I want to say something and you're muffling me. I'm sorry, Al. The way you're saying it, it isn't worth hearing. Grandfather, you are the chairman. But personally, I think you're too kind. I agree with Al Alarm Clock. You, uh, you... Go on, Silent Clock. Take your time and speak your piece. You know as well as I do, Grandfather, that there are hundreds of watches in this store that would like to become members of our special TikTok club, but we can't accept them all. We're top-notch Swiss clocks of reputation, and we have a story to tell. After all, a little unimportant factory-made watch with a funny face isn't worthy of our company. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way about me, sir. Now, American watch don't mind that conceited electric clock. He's a smooth, big timepiece who thinks very much of himself. Oh, really, Mr. Electric Clock? I, too, have a story to tell. Nonsense, you do. Why, when I was high up in a gilded case in the state bank, all the famous bankers would look up at me before they made appointments or counted their millions of dollars. Cheaper millions of dollars. Grandfather, may I offer my opinion now? Why, of course, Diamond. That's Miss Diamond Watch, and anything she says is usually crystal clear. Mr. Electric Clock is absolutely right, even though I think he's just blowing a fuse. <laughs> All of you know I've been on the wrist of princesses and kings. Why, 
kings could better manage their affairs when they looked at my sparkling face. I simply can't honor that clumsy watch with my company. Cuckoo, I have a few words to say, too. Oh, but, Grandfather, Miss Cuckoo Clock sounds a bit silly. Oh, she's quite regular, though. My timely friends, some people think I'm just a little cuckoo, but I wouldn't even stop to look at that comical little watch. You're absolutely right. I agree with you. Listen to me, clocks and watches. We were all made to serve the same purpose, weren't we? I say we must listen to the story of this little watch before we decide on anything. The American watch? Yes. We're not all like that charged old electric clock and some others here. We're Swiss, and we're democratic and fair like you Americans. Now tell us, why is your case so dented and battered? Oh, that! I got those gents when I saved a boy's life. Well, well save a life. <laughs> Who ever heard of such a thing? Oh, go away. Ridiculous. Quiet, please. Let's listen first, then we'll see. Go on, little watch. There'll be no squeak out of them now. Well, not long ago, I was a shiny, brand new watch displayed in a drugstore window on Main Street. A man walked up, holding a little boy's hand. The boy pressed his nose up against the window, looked at me, and cried, Oh, Daddy, Daddy, that beautiful wristwatch there. Please buy it for me. You don't want that cheap little watch with a silly picture painted on its face. Oh, yes, I do, Daddy. I like it. Why, Archie, it'll make so much noise you won't be able to stand it. Come along. I'll get you something better. Please, Daddy, please. I always wanted a watch like that. All right, Archie, all right. Come inside and we'll look at it. Daddy bought me and strapped me tightly around Archie's wrist. Archie loved me and always wore me, for he could tell time well. One day, Archie and his dad went on a long journey, far away to Switzerland. Since Archie kept me close to him, (laughs) I went along too. After traveling a long, long time over the ocean and over many lands, came to a big white hotel here in the valley. Early one morning, while Archie was strapping me around his wrist, his dad called. Archie, I don't know whether you should come along on this trip. Oh, please, Daddy. I'm strong enough to climb those tall mountains with you. I don't know about that. And besides, it's too dangerous for a youngster. Well, why not ask our guy? Maybe he'll know what to do. Well, if you're so anxious, we'll see. Jacques! Oh, Jacques. Oui, monsieur. Are you calling me? Yes. I wanted to ask you, would it be safe to have my little son climb that tall mountain with us today? What a question. Of course. I expected him to come along. I prepared a bundle of lunch for him, too. Here, Archie. It's tied up in this cloth. Thanks, Jacques. Well, I guess it's all right if our guide says so. Will I get one of those long sticks, Jacques? That stick we call an alpenstock. What's an alpenstock used for? When we start climbing, Archie, you'll tie your bundle to your side strap, and with your alpenstock, you'll keep sticking the ice to make sure it's frozen solid. So we won't slip, huh? No, no, your hobnail shoes will keep you from slipping. Your alpenstock will keep you from sinking into the deep, soft snow. Jacques, with Archie along, we'll not climb too high today. You understand? Of course, of course. You leave that to me, and everything will be just so. That's fine. Well, let's go. Daddy, this is so easy, I feel like flying Don't run ahead, wait for us Come on, Daddy, you and Jacques walk too slowly Oh, Archie, come back, this way, we're taking a shortcut The sky is blue and the sun is high We're so happy and jolly, we all must fly And the elfin stuff, we carry our lunch With our hot nail shoes, we go front to be front Up the mountain we walk along Planting our way and singing this song La 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 Here's a nice spot to stop, huh? Perhaps we'll have our lunch in the rest of a while. Yes, sir. This mountain air does things to my appetite. 
Boy, I'm hungry. Uh, uh. Josh, the sun shining on the white snow is so bright it almost blinds me. Well, then keep wearing your sunglasses. Here, we'll sit down here. Uh, there. Now for that Swiss cheese and some crisp, crusted bread. I'll eat standing up. I don't want to miss any of this scenery. <laughs> Those young ones, they never get tired. Huh? I'm plenty tired, but oh, I want Daddy there, to see there, how I can take oh, it. There, oh, there. Say, that's pretty. Who's doing it? Oh, it must be one of our friends down on the mountain. Oh, is that a signal? No, it's more of a greeting. We always yodel to each other up here. I'll answer him. Listen. Ole, 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 ole. Oh, I'll try to do it. Ole. <laughs> <laughs> That lunch was fit for a king. Now, we'll light our pipes for a little smoke, eh? Oh, monsieur, this is the life, eh? I'm going in the shade to rest. It's too warm out here. No, no, Archie. Here, the sun protects you. If you should take a snooze there, you might fall sound asleep and freeze into an icicle. Don't worry, Jacques. That watch of Archie ticks so loudly it'd keep us awake anywhere. (laughs) Wee! Look at that big sliding pond on the side of the mountain. That is a glacier, Archie. A great big hill of ice. And it's dangerous. Full of cracks we call a crevasse. If a person falls in there, he's lost. Please be quiet. It's so peaceful here. I'm falling asleep. Mm, I am too. stuck in the ice. There. This ice is as shiny as a mirror. Mm, goes all the way down there. Oh, oh. I almost lost my balance. I better go back. It's too slippery. Oh, oh. I'm slipping down. I'm falling into the crevice. Daddy, Daddy. No good. I better not. Daddy! Jock! Daddy! Jock! Your boy, monsieur, your boy has disappeared. Wake up, monsieur. Hmm? What? My boy has disappeared. Where could he have gone? I don't know. I'm looking around and I don't see him anywhere. Good heavens, we must have been soundly asleep for a long time. Yes. Oh, there are his footsteps. Come, we must follow them. Oh, Archie, Archie, where are you? Where are you? My boy, where are you? Footsteps in here. Ah, oh, mon Dieu, this crevice is miles deep. No, no, Jacques, he couldn't have gone this way. Look how steep it is. I'll try to call. Archie! Archie! There's no answer. Keep calling. There must be an answer. But can't you see? It is useless to keep calling. We'll do something. We must find him. I don't know. Let me think for a moment. Jacques. Jacques, maybe Archie went back to the hotel. I wish it were so, monsieur. But his footsteps end right here. You stay here, please. I'll go back for help. Wait. Listen, Jacques. Do you hear what I hear? You, I don't hear anything. Do you imagine anything? No, no. Come here. Kneel down and listen. All right. I'll try to. Yes. Yes, what is it? That's Archie's watch, ticking somewhere near us. Well, how can it be? Why, look there. There he is, asleep on the ledge. 
He might have fallen all the way down. Lucky boy. Oh, he's not so lucky, monsieur. He can freeze in his sleep in that ice pocket. Hurry, monsieur, and hold my rope, and I'll go down for him. I'll hold on. Be careful, Jacques. Hold on tightly up there. Here. I'll put my warm jacket over him. No, no, no. Put it under his head. He's been asleep too long. We'll have to rub him with snow. Keep it up, Jacques. His eyes are open. My boy, you were saved by that cheap little watch. What? My wristwatch? Golly, look, I broke the glass when I fell. Archie, we'll get a fine new crystal for it. But am I glad it ticked so loudly. Little American Watch, that's the greatest story I ever heard. I think you're not only important, but you're noble. Yeah. Well, I think so, too. Really, really wonderful. Miss Diamond Watch, what do you say now? Oh, Grandfather, I spoke before without thinking. That American Watch is sensational. Uh-huh. I heard Diamond, and I guess I went a little off, too. That little watch is wonderful. And I was ringing my fool head off about your not being important. Little TikTok, you're absolutely top. Oh, thank you. Grandfather, I propose that we make Little American Watch an honorary member of our club. That's what we're going to do, Mr. Electric Clock. Oh, Grandfather, you've wound my spring with courage to tick loudly once again. You're really fair. <laughs> A good clock must be fair and true if it is to be of use to anyone. Now I'll talk for the clocks and watches everywhere and say, one's value is proven by one's deeds. And you've proven your worth, little American watch. As a new and honorary member here, you are precious and a credit to our Tick Tock Club. Yeah! 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 